Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The most surprising plot twist of all has been Kane Dingle's decision to leave the village and move away from Emmerdale, despite some recent terrible happenings. How huge might something be on Earth that would force him to resign from his role as the Hardman of the Dales? He didn't take part in Ethan's hit and run as payback for Nikki's wounds. It's not because of his conflict with Ruby and Caleb by extension. His involvement in rapist Craig's death last year is also unrelated. Kane would only leave his house in order to be with his sons. Kyle's life has not been easy from the beginning. And now, tragically, the events of the past few years are about to resurface. Following his unintentional murder of Al Chapman, Kyle was forced to witness his dear father's fall from grace and subsequent imprisonment. When the investigation progressed, the young boy's heart broke when Cain lost custody of Kyle to Amy, Natalie, and Jamieson. After everything was said and done, the two were eventually reunited but not before bullies tormented Kyle because of what had happened to his family. Since then, it appears that everything has totally moved on and the family has triumphed over numerous additional difficulties. Most recently, Minty Isaac's cherished lamb was lost, necessitating the town to launch a rescue operation. However, the Dingles have persevered and are resilient. Or are they... When Kane finds out that his weak son is once again being mistreated by bullies, he is devastated. Kane, filled with rage, decides that enough is enough. Moving his family out of the community in search of a better future, he chooses not to employ physical force to solve the issue, partially because even Kane wouldn't take on a group of kids. Are Mora Dingle and Kane going to make an appearance soon? Svor of Emmerdale Ash Paul Michiano has shared details about what would happen after the planned stabbing plot. Next week, there will be shocking events at the hide where Josh, a newcomer to the area, pushes Samson Dingle into Maddie, who just so happens to be carrying a knife. Josh appears to be trying to make Maddie look like the aggressor as he brutally threatens him and demands money from the hides till in the opening scenes. Regarding the build-up to the twist, Maddie's actor Ash clarified that Josh and Samson's threats, which included glass bottles, are analogous to a fight or flight scenario, and Maddie is unsure of how to respond to them. He makes an attempt to win over Samson's kindness by saying, Look, we're family. What are you doing? This is not something you should be doing. He truly makes another attempt to send them away. After that, there's a little struggle, a fight. After instructing Samson to go, Maddie carries on with his business, picks up his knife and fork from the plate he's been clearing up before they entered. He turns to them, and just as he turns to them, Josh pushes Samson directly into Maddie. At first, you are not really sure what's happened. They're sort of embracing, and as Samson pulls away, they realize Samson has actually been stabbed by the knife Maddie was holding. He added, all he can see is Samson bleeding. Maddie's in complete shock. It happened so fast and was a complete accident. He's processing how this could have happened. He went on to describe that Jay then enters the scene. And because narcissistic Josh chooses to inform him that Maddie has simply approached Samson without cause, Jay believes Maddie has stabbed him. Josh is acting panicked. All of a sudden, he flips from being this nasty, horrible guy to this innocent, panicky friend acting all concerned and telling Jay to keep Maddie away from them. He is lying, basically, and making the situation look far worse than it was. Given that Maddie is completely bewildered by what has transpired, Ash acknowledged that Maddie absolutely does not see the implications at this time. He's trying to figure out how things got this bad and how it got there. Thinks is one of those situations. Maddie is not one for confrontation, so this is really out of character for him. His day had begun so happily that he was shocked by what had transpired. 
I think what makes it real is that when the police show up, he starts thinking how this might look and what that might mean for a character like Maddie. He continued by saying Amy might feel a mixture of real concern about how it got to this point and guilt over the fact that she left. Hopefully, I think she will doubt that Maddie is even capable of stabbing someone, he said. I believe Maddie will realize that Samson and Josh are lying to everyone and that she didn't just appear out of nowhere. This narrative must be more complex than it first appears. However, she will be inconsolable because they recently got married. They were hoping to move in together. And now the worst has happened. Next week's Emmerdale spoilers are revealed. Ella's secret is on the verge of being discovered. Tom reclaims control in the most terrifying way, and Ethan collapses. But will he survive? Don't miss these seven massive Emmerdale spoilers for next week. Ethan hears Ruby and Rose conversing as he spends the final few days before his court appearance as much as possible outside. He's shocked by what he hears between them and Reels. He tells Charles that it has caused him to worry about Dawn. Ethan leaves her a voicemail after Charles encourages him to get in touch with her and let her know. In Emmerdale, Ethan is unconscious and lying on the ground while Manpreet does CPR. Looking to save Ethan, Manpreet, Ethan and Charles have an emotional chat as they prepare for court. When Charles returns from his brief visit to the kitchen, he finds Ethan slumped to the floor. Manpreet attempts to revive him, but it doesn't seem to be working. Fearing that he will lose his son, Charles observes in horror, will Ethan survive? When Dawn's phone voicemail from Ethan arrives, she listens intently. After hearing what Ethan has to say, she becomes immediately concerned, but what will she do about it? In Emmerdale, Belle and Tom argue. Belle yelled at Tom the previous week, Tom is shocked when Belle requests that Lydia visit instead of him while he is in the mental health crisis unit. He is unable to handle losing control and is afraid of what the visit may disclose. Will Belle have the courage to tell Lydia the truth about what has been going on? Tom comes up with a new scheme in a desperate attempt to regain control of the situation and dictate Belle's every action. This might be the worst thing he's ever done as he regains control. What action has Tom taken? Emmerdale, deep talk between Ella and Layla in the wool pack? Is Layla making a mistake? Layla has doubts about Ella. Upon discovering that she has no internet presence, she takes immediate action, driven to learn more about Liam's new partner. What will she find out? Layla gives Liam a stern look while Susie muses in Emmerdale. What has Layla found out? Next. Manpreet shares with Liam what she observed about Ella. Liam is startled into taking action, but what will he do? Will he also find out Ella's great secret? What precisely is she concealing from him, as well as the other villagers? In Emmerdale, Kane and Liam have a serious conversation. Will Kane actually leave? Kyle tells his father that he is being bullied once more. Kane thinks about their future in the Dales and is resolved to put things right. He considers moving so Kyle can start over and wonders if a new house and school might be the solution. But can Kane actually force himself to walk away? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.